In the late 70s, my dad managed Marina Del Rey Skate Park. Dogtown, Z-Boys, Tony Alva, Jay Adams, Shogo Kubo, Stacy Peralta, they all took me underneath their wing. They taught me the ropes. They taught me how to become a professional skateboarder. I lived a great life, turning pro at 14 years old, skating with the rival Tony Hawk for many years, even almost a decade into the 90s. And life took a turn when I started using drugs. I started using drugs more and more. Pretty soon it became everything to me. I even put skateboarding into the backseat of my life. Family was at the bottom of the list. And I always tell people it was like I was searching for love my whole life. It started with skateboarding. Pretty soon it became money and fame. It became winning first place. It became having the cover of magazines. Next thing you know, it was all about doing drugs in the places you did drugs. All the VIP parties in Hollywood. Growing up in Hollywood was a place where you had to fit in. And I had to fit in because of who I was. I did and saw it all until the lifestyle landed me in prison. And in that prison cell, when all my lines were cut, when all of a sudden I was, couldn't talk my way out of it anymore, I finally was at rock bottom. But it was God that right there confronted me, heaven confronted me, and she said, Christian, you need to go get a Bible. First day in that prison cell. And in that first day, I opened up that Bible, never ever reading a Bible before. And it was like it spoke its truth to me. It was like the scales fell off my eyes. And I, and I realized that I was created for a purpose, that there was a reason for me being alive. I share my story now to offer hope. Through all the craziness, through my life of highs to extreme lows, through it all I found that there's peace, there's joy, and there's contentment.